hi everyone you are welcome how to solve this nice exponential equation which is 3 raised to power k minus 2 raised to power k is equal to 65 how can we solve this equation now here we will try to make this left hand side as a negative algebraic identity a square minus b square now to make that identity here in the left hand side let us multiply and divide 2 in the power in both the terms in the left hand side so this will become 3 raised to power k whole raised to power 2 divided by 2 minus 2 raised to power k whole raised to power 2 divided by 2 is equal to 65 and next we can write this 2 by 2 as 2 by 2 is same as 1 by 2 times 2 so here in the left hand side we will use an exponential math property and we will out this one over 2 from the power so here we will use this one exponential math property raised to power m whole raised to power n can also be written as raised to power m times n so using this exponential math property in the left hand side this equation will become here we will multiply 1 over 2 from the power inside the base so this will become 3 s to power k by 2 whole s to power 2 minus 2 s to power k by 2 whole s to power 2 is equal to 65 now what we will do here now here we will make a supposition so let us suppose this base is equal to x and this is equal to y so let 3 s to power k by 2 is equal to x and 2 s to power k by 2 is equal to y next we will replace these two terms with x and y so this will become x square minus y square is equal to 65 and here in the left hand side we will use a negative algebraic identity a square minus b square so here we will use this one algebraic identity a square minus b square which is equal to a minus b times a plus b so using this algebraic identity in the left hand side this equation will become the left hand side will be x minus y times x plus y is equal to 65 now my dear to get to the left hand side here is the product of two expressions x minus y times x plus y so here we factorize this number in the right hand side to the product of two numbers and then we will compare each expression with each number in the right hand side so let us factorize this 65 left hand side will be the same x minus y times x plus y is equal to we can write 65 as 13 times 5 which is 65 now here we will compare each expression from the left hand side with each number in the right hand side so here look into the left hand side for any two numbers x and y x plus y will be always greater than x minus y so that's why here we will compare this expression with the greater number and this expression with the smaller number 5 so from here we will get two equations first equation is x plus y is equal to 13 and the second equation is x minus y is equal to 5 let us suppose this is equation number first and this is equation number second now here we will add these two equations so let us add these equations here we will cancel this positive y with this negative y and x plus x is 2x is equal to 
13 plus 5 is 18. Now we'll divide both sides by 2. This 2 and this 2 will be cancelled and 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 9 is 18. So this will become x is equal to 9. So this is the value of x. Now to find the value of y, we'll substitute this value of x in equation number first. x plus y is equal to 13. So equation number first is x plus y. So the value of x is 9 plus y is equal to 13. And here we will move this 9 to the right hand side. So this will become y is equal to 13 minus 9. Now 13 minus 9 is 4. So the value of y will become y is equal to 4. So this is the required value of y. And here we will go back to our supposition and we will replace x and y with its values. That is x is equal to 3 raised to power k by 2 and y is equal to 2 raised to power k by 2. So let us replace each variable with its previous value. So x is equal to 3 raised to power k by 2. Now the value of x which we find here is 9. So we will write 9 here and we will solve this one equation. Here we will change this 9 to its exponential form 3 raised to power 2. So this will become 3 raised to power k by 2 is equal to we can write 9 as 3 square. Now here in this equation in both sides the bases are same. So we will compare the powers k by 2 with 2. So this will become implies k by 2 is equal to 2. Now here we will move this 2 to the right hand side. Here it is divided. So when we move to the right hand side, it will be multiplied with this number. This will become k is equal to 2 times 2 is 4. So here we got the value of k that we need to calculate in, in this problem. Now here we will try to find the value of k using the second value that is y is equal to 4. So here we will use the second value y is equal to 4. No, from our substitution y is equal to 2 raised to power k by 2. So this will become y is equal to 2 raised to power k by 2 is equal to and the value we calculated here is 4. Now we will solve this one equation. So here we will change this part to its exponential form. So this will become 2 raised to power k by 2 is equal to power is 2 raised to power 2. Now again the bases are same so we will compare the powers. So the powers are k by 2 is equal to 2 but we can write this 2 as 2 by 1. Now here we will cross multiply these two sides. So this will become k times 1 is k and 2 times 2 is 4. So from the value of y again we got the same value of k that is k is equal to 4. Now here we will try to check out that this value of k is the exact and correct value of k in this problem or not. So for that we will read the problem here and we will substitute the value of k. Now the problem is 3 raised to power k minus 2 raised to power k is equal to 65. Now here we substitute the value of k that is 4. So this will become 3 raised to power 4 minus 2 raised to power 4 is equal to 65. Now what is the value of 3 raised to power 4? 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 3 is 27 and 27 times 3 is 81. So the value of this is 81 minus here 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16 is equal to 60. Now here 81 minus 16 is 65 is equal to 65. Now since both sides are equal, so it means that k is equal to 4 is the exact and correct value of k in this nice exponential math problem. And last, if you like this video, so don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel.
Thanks for watching.